Hey everyone, welcome to the latest setup guide for the weapons and armor pack number one. This is a new version with blend shapes, and so I've also taken the time to rearrange the uh, layout of the um, package. So if you open up, um, well let's start with this, if you have not imported the pack yet, you have a choice to make. If you plan on just using the weapons as is, um, just using the default textures and the default uh, uh, shape of the weapons, then you can exclude the customizable files from the uh, from the import. Each one of the weapons has a substance file here, and this is how you change the uh, texture itself. The problem is that they take up a lot of space. I think it's about two gigabytes for this uh, folder right here, and also they take a long time to load inside Unity. Uh, when you import it and there's 30 of them so uh, for some older systems it may actually crash unity so if you do not plan on doing any customization just simply uncheck the customizable files um, toggle when you import the package if you do plan on using it uh, then include the package uh, or the, these, these files in the import but if you think your computer may not handle all of them at once you might wanna you know uh, select only half of them and then import them in, in two or three goes um, all right, so let's check out the game ready files. So we've got our axes here. Uh, it's all laid out. The customizable files and the game ready ones have the same layout. Uh, so we can take our axe one. We've got our textures here. Uh, if you if 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 you're these are all 2K maps. Uh, most of them are 2K at least, um, which is way bigger than you actually need them to be. Uh, so in most cases, you'll want to go through when you're ready to actually uh, uh, put your game out on a device or a platform uh, and change the resolution here to something lower than. Uh, than the Mac, than the 2K. Um, also, uh, there's packages that might make uh, atlases. So if you want to, if you know you're going to have a bunch of these on screen at once, and you know which textures you're going to need, you can do an atlas for that. So don't uh, neglect this this Mac size. You can do that per platform too, which is nice. Um, and then so we got our material here. Uh, it's all standard shader, which is great. Um, if you want to lower the uh, map cost even more you can exclude the occlusion right here um, it's a nice look to have the occlusion but you don't need it in, in many cases so you can exclude that and we have our main uh, model which is just the FBX file and the prefab which is this is what you're gonna bring into the game so you can just bring it into your game here we'll zoom in on this and bring this down here um, so we've got the the, the uh, axe here uh, in most cases, it's all PBR, so you can see the nice reflections with the sunlight. In most cases, the pivot's going to be on the handle. Um, so you can just drag this or put this as a child of your character's hand. Uh, switch the, the um, rotation and position so that it matches uh, the hand that you, the, the place you want, and you're all good to go. So you can't actually um, edit this in any way, um, but it's all ready for you to use in-game if, you, if you'd like. Uh, and so each one of these has that. We go down to the hammers. We get hammer uh, A and B here. And so again, um, it's all ready to be used in game, uh, but it's not something that you can edit. So if you love the way that these look right away, then feel free, just go ahead and use them. Um, however, there's the customization option. So let's check that out real quick.